Hello everybody, Starark here, and today we're going to be looking at my upgrades to the Team Iron Man minifigures from Captain America Civil War. Plus, there's a few bonus custom minifigures in here as well. I already upgraded Team Cap a few videos ago. I'll link my entire Upgrading the Avengers playlist at the top of the screen right now if you want to catch up. Thanks to everyone who suggested this, and let's get started with these minifigures. First up is Iron Man. I got his hair from the Infinity War Bricktober pack and his head is from the Silver Centurion Polybag. Shout out to Simple Brick over on Instagram for the inspiration there. His torso and legs are of course from Civil War but I gave him Silver Centurion's arms and then he's holding his helmet from Age of Ultron with a clear head inside. Next up is Black Panther. His hair and head are from Mordo from the first Doctor Strange. His torso is from Civil War, but his arms are General Zod's from the second LEGO Batman movie CMF series. Thanks again to Simple Brick, as well as many superheroes today, I saw both of them use those arms. His legs are an Imperial Protocol droids, and he's holding his mask, which is the head and ears from Civil War. Here is Black Widow. I got her hair from an old castle minifigure, and her head is from Age of Ultron and Civil War. Her torso is from the newer Quinjet set. Her arms and legs are from the Avengers accessory pack, and then her accessories are just a couple black lightsaber hilts and black Harry Potter wands. Next up is Spider-Man. His head is from the Civil War figure, and his torso and legs are from the 2022 Sanctum set, and then he's also holding Captain America's shield. Here is Vision. Since normal Vision would just be a repeat of the figure I made in my Age of Ultron video, I decided to make Vision in his casual clothes instead. His head and hands are from the Civil War figure, that torso is from a Speed Racer figure, and his legs are Ron's from the second Harry Potter CMF series, and then I also gave him some cooking utensils. Next up is War Machine. I got his hair from a Bruce Wayne minifigure, and his head is from Iron Man 3. His torso and legs are from Civil War, but I gave him the arms from the Infinity War Bricktober pack. That neck attachment build is also from the Bricktober pack, but I replaced the stud shooter with a regular black pistol with a black candlestick attached to it. And then he's holding his helmet from Civil War with a clear head inside. Here is Thunderbolt Ross. I had a slot open in this video, and I figured he'd be an appropriate character to fill it with. His hair is Carl Fredrickson's from Up, and his head is J. Jonah Jameson's from an old Spider-Man 2 set. His torso is Harry Osborn's, also from Spider-Man 2, and his legs are Harry Potter's from the second Harry Potter CMF series. And finally is the main villain of the movie, Zemo. His hair is Agent Coulson's, and his head is a soldier's from the Lone Ranger. His torso is Harry Potter's, and his legs are flashback Garmadon's from the Lego Ninjaga movie CMF series. For an accessory, I gave him the Winter Soldier book, which is really the Grail Diary from Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions for videos I should make in the future, please let me know down below, and I'll give you a shout out if I use your idea. Anyway, come back on Saturday for another cool video. See you then.